Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Everybody say hi to my niece Kasaya. Um, excuse her appearance, you know, it's Saturday. She's watching cartoons. She doesn't care. So first off, my eyebrows are already done. So what I'm going to do next is go in with this NYX Jumbo Pencil in White. Now I love using this as far as to a liquid to set my um, eyes when I'm doing eyeshadows. So I just want to pat that out using my finger. I'm going to just take the excess and put it underneath those bags, honey. <laughs> but just going to be patting this out and um, using my finger. Next, I am using the 35B palette by Morphe. And I'm going to be taking a dense eyeshadow brush, dipping into that orange shade, and just going to be patting that all over my lid. Um, I feel like for eyeshadow looks that you really want the color to stand out, it's better to just pat it on and then go ahead and blend out the edges later. But for now, I'm just going to pat that in and um, really get that color to pop. And you know, whatever you do to one eye, do to the second eye, you know, symmetry and all that good stuff. So next, I didn't show what color I used, but it's this um, shimmery orangish pink shade next to that orange color in that 35B palette. I'm just taking that on a small eyeshadow brush flat small eyeshadow brush and just putting that all over my lid um i just didn't want to make the look look so flat just kind of want to give it a little bit of dimension so that's what i'm doing there now i am taking my nyx matte liquid eyeliner and just winging it out literally and just adding a wing to the look again so it's not so boring and there's you know a little bit of dimension so next, I'm going to be using my Total Tees CoverGirl Mascara. And I like this mascara for your natural lashes. Um, the wand tip is very small, so it's easy to get the bottom lashes. And also, if you have smaller top lashes, um, you can't really see on camera because I really ain't got no long lashes. But they do make them pop and stand out just a little bit. And I don't know what was on TV that was distracting me, but whatever it was, was really catching my attention. So next for primer, we're going to be using the Fenty Beauty Primer. Guys, I can't say enough how much I love this primer. It's literally like a second moisturizer. And seeing how, you know, it's fall and, you know, the leaves are falling off the trees and stuff like that. In the colder months, you want something that's really going to moisturize your skin. Um... And I have dry skin, so this really helps me out a lot. For foundation, I'm using two foundations. I'm mixing them together. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Foundation, of course, in 480. Now, this foundation is really matte. It's truly a matte. So in these colder months, you don't really want to be dried out, especially if you have dry skin like me. So I do add the NYX Total Control Drops. Um, I use a lighter color just to balance out the red that's naturally in this um, Fenty Beauty. And I just mix them together, um, blending it out using a Real Techniques sponge. And as you can see, it's a perfect match. And your girl is looking flawless, honey. Flawless. So I'm just blending that everywhere, taking it down a little bit down the neck, just so it blends a little bit. Next, I'm going in with concealer. Now for concealer, I am using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Divine. I said divine and define <laughs> concealers. I'm using two colors. I'm using C13 and C14. Um, the first one you see me using is C14. That's a da darker of the two. And then I'm going in with the C13 just to add a little brightness. Now, where I messed up, which isn't a big mess up, but something I noticed I did wrong. I put that lighter color um, not only under my eyes, but also in the other places I concealed. Um, I wish I would have just put it under my eyes just to create more of a brightness there. But it's not a huge mess up, just something that I won't do again. But I still think it turned out flawless in my personal opinion. Um, again, I'm going to be um, blending that out using my Real Technique sponge. And you guys will just see the rest. When I'm blending this out, I'm really not trying to move the product around too much. Just taking my um, sponge and just pouncing it up and down just to 
um, make it opaque, if that makes sense. I don't really want to move it around. Where I placed it is kind of where I want it to stay. Um, don't really need it to move around at all. If you guys want details of this wig, if you like it, um, I will link that all down below as well. So next here, I'm going to be showing um, what I'm using to set that um, foundation, I mean that concealer. Gosh, I can't talk today. And I'm using the Makeup Revolution um, Luxury Baking Powder. This is in the color Terracotta. I know a lot of people, especially brown skin girls, do not like using this orangish color because it kind of makes you look like Oompa Loompa. But I just use it sparingly. I feel like if you use everything in moderation, that's all. That's what it's all about. So I'm using this orange, orange, I keep so close to using this orange powder. I'm using this Terracotta Colored Powder, putting that underneath my eyes in the other places that I conceal. So I'm just going to be putting that powder everywhere to cancel out any orange and to also make it a little bit brighter. I am using the Kat Von D Locket Translucent Powder. So I'm just putting that all over. Um, again, the spots are concealed just to cancel out any of the orange. Next, I'm going in with the NYX Conceal Correct Contour Palette. And I'm going to be using the darkest color in there to contour. I love this color to contour because it literally just... I mean, it's not too like orange, it's not too red. It's like just a perfect brown that goes with my skin tone, I do believe, um, you know, just does that. So I'm just contouring the five head to turn into a four head and contouring the cheeks and also my nose. So I'm just using a dense brush to um, blend that out. Now for my nose portion, I will be using a smaller eyeshadow brush um, just so it's something that's real defining that would get right up on my nose and can blend that contour out. Alright, so next to um, set the contour, I'm going to be using, and yes, I hit pan on that, I'm using the Soft Focus finishing powder by black radiance in the color milk chocolate finish i love this powder guys it literally just i don't know it just complements the contour with the highlight it looks perfect and it's like five bucks like it's really really cheap so to set all that powder in i'm using the continuous um setting mist by morphe just going to be letting that dry down as an overall face powder i am using the um black opal setting powder in the color deep i love this stuff it's really fine milled so it doesn't leave you looking really cake face so there's no need to respray your face going in for the lips this first nyx liner that i'm using i don't know the name so i'm so sorry but it's like a burgundy color the next one i'm using is another nyx liner and it's in the color prune plum this is really redundant you didn't really need to use that color i mean it was i just overdid it then i'm using a liquid lip by um color pop and it is in the shade lax and i love this since this is a matte even though it looks like a liquid it's going to dry as a matte and um i'm just going over that you'll see in the next clip with this nyx butter gloss in the color red wine but guys this is basically it for this look this fall orange eye little red wine mysterious lip i got going on right now so guys yes like i said this is the end of the video like share comment and most importantly subscribe to my channel it's your girl shady xoxo and i'm out